was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's a summer home tour. I'm really excited to just show you guys how everything came together. As you guys know, if you are used to my home tours, I basically just walk you through every area that I decorated for summer and I will go into detail as to where every piece is from. And I do this because even though I do my decorating videos, sometimes it is just really nice to see how every Everything turned out together. I also like doing this video because I will try my best to link absolutely everything that you guys will see down below in the description box. Sometimes in my decorating videos I can forget to do that or I'll reference you guys to my decor hauls for like the specific season I'm decorating for but in my home tour I just like to put everything out there for you guys to easily access in case you guys want to purchase the same things or are interested in them and want to check them out so definitely check the description box for those links and I think that is everything if you guys have not seen a part one part two and part three of my summer decorate with me's I will go ahead and link them up in the corner as well as down below in the description box but part one was decorating my dining room and coffee bar part two was decorating my living room and part three was decorating the kitchen so i hope you guys enjoyed all three of those you guys left incredibly sweet comments so i'm so excited that most of you guys seem to have loved them as well i hope you guys love this video it honestly is my favorite way that I've decorated probably since starting this channel after decorating for Christmas of course because I love decorating for Christmas but I'm really happy and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this gives you so much decor inspiration. Definitely let me know down below in the comments. As always if you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not and you are new to my channel and enjoy this video. It seriously would mean the world to me and hit that notification bell so you are notified of upcoming videos i have an exciting decor haul coming up um, just sharing the decor i've purchased for our master bedroom makeover so yeah exciting videos exciting content but let's go ahead and get into what this video is about make yourself a cup of coffee and let's go ahead and get started because i've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong i was so mistaken because you Glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try for Okay, so starting right here in the entryway, I have this a jute rug. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then moving up here, I just went ahead and I placed a framed picture of Jonathan and I. I felt that the colors played really good off of my overall theme. And yeah, that is basically it for the entryway. And then we have the entryway table right here. All I did is I left out this picture frame of me and Jonathan. And that picture frame was from Hobby Lobby several years ago. The terracotta pot is from Hobby Lobby and it just has one of the $5 plants from Target. The little stool is also from Hobby Lobby and they do have it again this year. And on top of it, I just have a little glass vase. I believe this is hearth in hand with some cute little flowers inside of it and some of them are already dying but they still have a few days left so i didn't change them out for this video you guys will see that throughout my house and then that cute little concrete bird is also from hobby lobby as a lot of my decor is you guys already know i shop at hobby lobby and target a lot and then these wooden corbels are from decor steels and this mirror i get asked a lot about this mirror was actually made by my husband. I'll show you guys a better look in just a minute. But moving on to this corner over here, I just have my wax um, warmer right here. That is from Hobby Lobby. The glass jug is from Amazon. And the plant is from Target. I love this. I believe this one was $15 and the bigger one was $20, I want to say. And then it's just inside of a cute little wickered basket. But that is it for the top of the table. Now let's go ahead and move to the bottom of it. 
Okay, you guys, so to the bottom of this entryway table, I added this beautiful galvanized tin or bucket. It is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year, but they had it there again this year. And inside of it, I just placed some greenery that is also from Hobby Lobby. This beautiful cow right here, I love this so much, it was actually a gift from an ex coworker who still remains my friend till this day. And she got this from Germany, but I know last time I used it, I got a lot of questions about it. And then the someday sign, of course, is from Hobby Lobby. I can't find it online, but I have still seen it at my store, just where all of the like signs are at usually it's in the middle of my stores so i hope that helps right behind it i just placed some thrifted frames that i got i will be removing these to use in my master bedroom soon but for now they are there and then these baskets are from hobby lobby as well and they do have them again this year as part of their spring shop this pillow right here is a pillow cover from Amazon. I will have it linked down below in the description box. And this, I don't know what to call it. Oh my God, I am spacing out. But this is from TJ Maxx and it is part of the Magnolia home. I've seen this basically in every single home. So it's super popular. And inside of it, I just have this woven table runner inside of it. It is rolled up. I just figured it really tied in the rug that I have at the entryway over there. So that is why I just put it in there instead of placing it in storage. And like I said, here's a better look at this entryway little setup that I have. Again, the beautiful mirror my husband built for me and then moving to the bottom. And the entryway table is a home goods find, which I was really lucky because it actually matches my coffee table and side table perfectly, but it is from home goods. Okay, now for my living room setup, this is how my couch looks. My couch is from Ashley Home Furniture Store. I get a lot of questions about it as well. I will have it linked down below, but it is called the Bacino sectional and I have the four piece. These pillows are all pillow covers from Amazon. They come in a set of two, again, linked down below. But I love the leather ones. They are my favorite. I have kept them on my couch probably for an entire year already, which I absolutely just love them so much. And I love having that leather detail throughout my home. So I have the same exact ones on this corner right here. And then the ones in the middle, the larger terracotta color one is from Target. That one was $30. And the smaller one is also from Target. And that one was $22. And then the throw blanket I have over here in this corner is from the Hearth and Hand line. This was part of their fall collection. But that beautiful warm terracotta color just really matched my theme. So I brought it out. And are you guys the type of people that need to have a blanket at all times of the year? Especially during summer because the AC is just so cold for me. So I always have a blanket. But then right here in my coffee table, I just have another one of these Magnolia Farms little basket or tray. This is from TJ Maxx a few years ago. And then I just have it on a woven placemat. The placemat is from Target. Inside of it, I have a terracotta pot with some greenery. My wickered coaster is from Hearth and Hand. This candle stand is from Hobby Lobby. And on top of it, I just have the candle from Hearth and Hand in the scent Golden Hour, which smells amazing. I really do love it. And then my coffee table is also from Ashley Furniture. I will also have these linked down below. On the website, it looks a little bit of a different color, but it is the exact same color I got, and it is distressed. I've gotten that question a few times, so I wanted to show you guys up close that it is definitely distressed, but in the picture on the website, it looks much more distressed or like creamy colored, but it is definitely just a beautiful white. Okay, so now moving on to my side table over here. I kept it pretty simple. We actually don't really use the side table at all. So I mainly just have decorative things on it. But that is also from Ashley Home Furniture. On top of it, I just have 
this wicker tray from Hearth and Hand. The lamp is from Target. I have my cozy white cottage book on top of it, an aged terracotta pot and a normal terracotta pot and just some greenery. Okay, from this corner of my living room up to this corner of it, I really love what I did here. I did something different this time and I really do like how it came out. I hung these little buckets from Hobby Lobby from the ceiling and I just placed some greenery inside of them. And then my blanket ladder is also from Hobby Lobby. I wanna say it was $40. The wooden stool at the bottom is from Hobby Lobby. It's a plant stand and the crock on top of it is from Tractor Supply. Inside of it, I just have this plant that is from Target. It fit perfectly and here's a closer look at the planter but right next to it i just have this wicker basket i can't even remember where i got this it is so old but the pillow cover on this pillow is from amazon i will also have that linked down below and then the blanket on the blanket ladder is from house and home and i really do love it it just pulls in some of that black and white and terracotta color and i love it Okay, so from this corner, we move on to this main wall of my living room and this fireplace was built by my husband. Obviously, it is a fake, but I love this so much. The insert is from Amazon and I just love having this faux fireplace and mantle to decorate. So let me go ahead and show you guys up close what I did. Okay, so on both corners of this fireplace, I just placed these glass vases they came in a pack of five from amazon again everything i can link i will link down below but i just have some baby's breath and some chamomile flowers from trader joe's inside of it i was so in love when i saw jessica giffen a pair of these two together that i knew i had to do it in my home in some type of way but i really do love the daintiness of these flowers and like I said I did the same thing over in this corner you guys can see my reflection on the TV but here it is and then I just added this a beautiful huge adobe the adobe is from a store called Tuesday morning I got so many questions about it that is actually the name of the store Tuesday morning and it was only $30 and then this bell right here is from Hobby Lobby and inside of the dough bell, the dough bowl, not bell, I went ahead and I just placed a series of different terracotta pots. Some are aged with the garden lime and some are not. And then I just did some candles as well as I added some greenery. I used the same greenery throughout my home and I got it from Hobby Lobby. It comes in a bigger bunch for $7.99 and I really love the look of it. It is the closest to real that I could find and I just really love it so much. And then this cute little piggy is from Hobby Lobby originally. I had it right here, but the sensor to the TV is actually right here and the piggy was blocking it constantly. So we were constantly moving him, so now he just sits up there and that is it for the faux fireplace okay so now when we pan over to the other corner of the living room i just have my plant stand which is from ikea with some live plants inside of some wicker baskets one is just inside of the terracotta pot and then this canvas is from kirkland's and again just pulling in that beautiful terracotta color definitely don't think it's worth the price but I really wanted it, so I went ahead and I got it. And that is it for the living room. Let's go ahead and move on over to the dining room, but let me give you guys one last look. Okay, so this is the way the dining room turned out, and I really love how it looks. The main difference here that I wanted to show you guys is we changed out this light fixture. You guys can still see that hole up there. Jonathan still has to patch it but I'm so happy that it is finally centered with our dining room table. Our dining room table is also from Ashley um, Home Furniture, but it has been discontinued. However, I was thinking about changing it and I'm so happy I didn't end up selling it. I actually did have 
an offer, but I ended up bailing on them, which I felt so bad. I told them I was no longer interested in selling it because once the light was on, I really, really loved how it looked. I like that the main accent chairs have that leather detail. So I ended up keeping it and I love how it looks paired with the new shelf. But on it, I just have this tablecloth. This was found at Target. I'm not exactly sure the exact name. A few of you guys commented it, but I forgot. And on it, I just have this tray from a Target. It just has like leather trimming in, on the sides of it. And then a terracotta pot with another life plant, a cute little cake stand, and some black candlesticks just to tie in some of the black going on over here on this wall but I love the way this wall turned out it is definitely my favorite you guys know that the lockers in the corner are from Hobby Lobby I hadn't seen them in a while but I just went to to the store today and they had a lot of them so if you've been interested in picking them up definitely go ahead and go to your nearest Hobby Lobby but I just have all my coffee supplies in there and let me go ahead and get closer to show you guys. Okay, so if you guys see my dogs outside, they're not the happiest, but they don't let me film. Anyways, over here on top of the lockers, I just have this cake stand from Hearth and Hand. The actual glass dome on top of it is from a glass cake stand I got from Walmart. This little galvanized tray is from Hobby Lobby, that same greenery I've been using and the white ceramic bird is also from there. And then this beautiful shelf is one that is also made by my husband. If you're new to my channel, you will find that my husband has built me so many of my pieces and I just love them so much. They have so much meaning and they are just so special to me. But it is a huge, so it gives me so much space to decorate. The mugs that are hanging off of the pegs are from Hearth and Hand. They were out during Valentine's Day. They have a little dainty XO on the back, but I just used the neutral side of them. And then on my actual coffee table, which my coffee table is from Hobby Lobby. It's a few years old, but I have these glass containers and these are from Hobby Lobby and I love the wooden top. I also love that it's a different color from the wood on the table. I have my Nespresso, my coffee machine, and then both of these kitchen towels are from Hearth and Hand, not Hearth and Hand, I'm sorry, House and Home. You see, I told you they were gonna come to the door. <laughs> Anyways, and this coffee served fresh all day is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last summer. The cute little wooden tablespoons are from Hobby Lobby. The little basket is also from Hobby Lobby and the greenery as well. And then moving on up here, the candlesticks. Basically everything on this shelf is Hobby Lobby except for the terracotta pitcher that is from Target's Hearth and Hand Summer Collection last year. The wooden candlestick holders are from Target as well. They are from the Threshold line. They were $15 each. And then this cutie little crock right here is a vintage find and inside of it I have some wooden spoons from House and Home. And that is basically it for this. Everything else you can find at Hobby Lobby. If I can find them in the online store, I will go ahead and link them. But I really love how this came out. I am so in love and I just, I am so, so happy. This is like my vision finally came together and I couldn't be more excited about it. Okay, so now moving on to my kitchen, we also changed up this light fixture and I just went with something super simple. I love the look of glass and black. I think it can work for modern farmhouse, farmhouse, or really any theme that I want. So I figured I would just go ahead and do something simple. I love decorating these rods. These are from Amazon again linked down below and then I just have a series of wooden cutting boards They are all from different places home goods TJ Maxx Hobby Lobby just anywhere. I find them I love collecting these and displaying them 
And then the bottom kitchen towel, the one that says love you, a bushel and a peck is from Hobby Lobby. That whisk is also from Hobby Lobby. The galvanized little bucket and greenery are also from Hobby Lobby. The two kitchen towels that are striped with the ruffled ends are from House and Home. Okay, so the wooden rolling pins are from House and Home. The spoon is a vintage find, and then this vintage hand mixer is from Hobby Lobby. And that is everything for these rods. I love how these came out, and I love decorating them seasonally. Moving on to the top of my fridge, I just have a vintage scale, which is also a gift from that same ex-co-worker that is still my friend and I love it. I have a little cute bird right next to it that is from Hobby Lobby. The greenery is also from Hobby Lobby and then I just have a um, Magnolia table cookbook on it and then that little wicker basket is from the Target dollar spot and I just have some avocados and some bananas on it because again it has to be functional. Down here I just have my cookbook stand with the Magnolia Table 1 on it. This cute little barn is from Hobby Lobby and I just have my collection of wooden cooking utensils. And then over here, I just have my wooden paper towel holder, this cute little galvanized salt and pepper shakers from Hobby Lobby. And then my beautiful glass containers are from Kirkland's. I love these so much. I think they look so good next to my KitchenAid. And yeah, I really, really love these containers so much. And I'm so happy I was able to get them. But that is what I have here. And that is basically it for my kitchen, except for the cute little wooden stand I have next to my sink with my soap holders and my little string of bananas and then this cute little caddy is from house and home and that is everything for my home tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope this gave you some inspiration for your own homes. I know it's quite early to decorate for summer but I was so ready and to be quite honest May just means summer to me, so that is why I went ahead and did it. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Cause you grow the pieces back.